Growth and traffic at the south end of the Salt Lake Valley has overwhelmed a train trussle underpass that poses an even bigger problem for big rigs. When a semi gets stuck in the small passageway, it's a headache for a lot of people in Bluffdale. New specialist Jed Bull shows us what the problem is on 14600 South and the solutions that are already in the works. I want to give you a good look at the trestle that we're talking about here on 146 South. Union Pacific uses the far rails. UTA Front Runner uses the closer rails. As you can see, it's a one lane road underneath on 146 South with a stop sign on each side. The traffic alone can be pretty heavy during peak hours. When a truck gets stuck, people can wait an hour or more. It's a headache, for sure. Take a look at this video shot by Annalie Hawkins. Well, the semi is now stuck. When she recently got caught behind a truck stuck under the railroad trestle. It literally peels the top off of their, their trucks like a tuna can. We have a handful of photos from various area residents. It happens quite frequently, um, I think five times a week. Turns out, when residents track the problem for a city council member, they discovered a truck gets stuck here an average of five times a week with a maximum of three trucks in one day. Many people drive through here several times a day. In the morning, it's rush hour traffic and school traffic to get to Summit Academy and the high school. Um, and then coming home, it's the same thing. Who owns the road? UDOT did until last Friday. That's when Bluffdale City swapped Porter Rockwell Boulevard, still under construction, for 146 South. Mayor Dirk Timothy tells me Bluffdale had already been working on that swap so the city can start to solve this problem. But a light would definitely help. The mayor tells me the city is already taking bids on a traffic signal for motorists that will prioritize traffic based on the volume at different times of day. The city will also install height sensors that detect trucks which are too big and alerts them before it's too late. The city council plans a special meeting on Wednesday in order to okay those bids and get the process moving. But the sensors and the light will have to suffice for a while until Bluffdale can raise the money it needs to enlarge that passageway. In Bluffdale, Jed Bowell for KSL 5 News. Jed, thank you. Next, how much?